Louder Than a Bomb Florida. It's an annual spoken word poetry festival and competition organized by the Jason Taylor Foundation and Amari Hardwick Blue Apple Poetry Network. And NBC6 is a proud sponsor showcasing some of the talented students in local high schools. But it's not just the students who are getting in on the act. A couple of local mayors took to the challenge last night, too, with poets from their cities. I'm not your stereotype. I'm not murder gardens. I'm I'm Miami Miami gardens. gardens. We just talked about what we thought about Miami Gardens, what people think about Miami Gardens, what we know it is and what we know it will become. And we wanted to communicate that with a, a spoken word piece. We're, we're not just the bad headline. We're actually the good story. We have some extraordinary students. This isn't just a speech. This is art. And so, and, and mostly, I just didn't want to let him down. Look, he is the professional. I am the amateur. You see, my parents, they neglected me. But thank God, this porch has saved me. Not oftentimes, as the mayor, you know, we have an opportunity to really sit down with our youth and our community. And it was an awesome experience, and I learned a lot. I want to be a visionary for the city. So the kids, when they look at me, they see the potential in themselves that I see. A 9.3 and a 9.9. Give it up for the poets. I'm going to take first annual Lotta the Bomb Florida Mayor's Slam Champion. And that will be the city of Miramar. I do mayor work. I'm not a poet, you know, so, but she made it so easy and I'm so glad that we had an opportunity to share that experience to represent the city of Miramar and bring home the first trophy of the Mayor Slam. Congrats, Miramar. Desiree, the student poet from Miramar High School, earned a $500 college scholarship as well. You can hear more from these talented young poets in our 30-minute special, Louder Than a Bomb, Florida. That's Saturday, April 23rd at 7, right here on NBC6. Good stuff. Yep.